We hebben heel veel mensen die van het buitenland komen, die bij internationale organisaties werken in Den Haag. En wij Hagenaars zijn er trots op dat we ze in onze stad hebben. Maar we moeten een beetje meer contact met elkaar hebben. Daar is de Haagse Brug voor. Al die mensen van, zoals zij het noemen, de international community en de gewone Hagenaar met elkaar in contact brengen. Dat is de bedoeling. The Hague Bridge project allows the Hague to access its urban districts. In the next few years, working closely with residents' associations, schools and the international community, several activities will be organized, all geared towards stimulating contact between the Hague citizens and the city's expats. The Hague Bridge project took place in the Sechbroek district during the summer, a season which you would expect to be accompanied by radiant sunshine. The Dutch skies, however, well, they were expecting a storm on the day of the official kickoff, so the organization avoided all risks and was forced to cancel. That's why a few weeks later, all guests were invited to the Sechbroek city district office at the Varenheidstraat. Uh, welcome here. We will open the Hague Bridge here uh, in the Sechbroek uh, district. The Hague is the international city, the expat city, par excellence, uh, to say it in French, in the, in, in the Netherlands. And you can, you can be assured of the fact that we will invest in the forthcoming years in becoming more and more international. So many people here present, uh, we appreciate it uh, highly. I find it really beautiful, sowieso international. With international connections can you go further than when you stay international. Just be together together. And not too long discussing about politics and so forth. Den Haag makes itself the right state of peace and right to name. Den Haag is the state Waar, de wereld, waar het wereldrecht zetelt. Hier wil ik zijn, hier hoor ik thuis. Ik ga zeer zeker deelnemen aan de Haagse Brug als hoofdmoot en als doelstelling om te promoten onze mooie wijk regen Tess Volkenbosgartier. Walking is a recurrent favorite part of the Hague Bridge. This time around, something extra came with the excursion. Culturally diverse food. And vandaag staat er dus een walking dinner op het programma. We start now with Italy, an Italian restaurant, Al Dente. And then we go, I think, to a French restaurant, and then a, a Thai restaurant, and a Turkish restaurant, and an African restaurant. So that's one of the strong assets of the Hague, to have so many restaurants. And that's, that's one more thing we want to show people here in the Hague. Um, where is this man taking you in this green cab? <laughs> He's taking us to the Indian curry house. Looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Have you guys maybe not eaten all day to save up for tonight? Yeah, and I so. think I, I should, but I didn't. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. Uh, ik heb ervoor gekozen om een klein stukje vis te maken voor de mensen die meedoen aan de Haagse Brug. Uh, ik doe een klein stukje zeewaars met wat dopertencreme. Wat uh, roergebakken wilde Italiaanse spinazie en een uh, limoen Nou, bon appétit, dames en heren. Dat ziet er lekker uit. Ja, echt lekker. Leuk dat we weer allemaal gekomen zijn. Zoals ik zei, hier is een uh, Afrikaanse keuken. Uh, we bereiden Afrikaanse gerechten. Uh, we zijn zelf van West-Afrika. Maar we presenteren heel Afrika. The guest's final destination was a Dutch restaurant with a typical traditional dessert, or not really. Volgens mij is het een, een heel erg internationaal hapje, namelijk griesmeelpudding. Nou ja, we zijn nu wel zeven restaurants verder, hè? maar even proeven hoe het smaakt. Alsof een engeltje over je tong uh, fietst. 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 Mensen vragen mij vaak, wat is dat nou precies een expert? Nou, een expert is iemand die meestal een paar jaar ergens woont, werkt. 
En waar ik steeds meer achter kom, is dat experts hier hele lange tijd en soms wel voor altijd willen blijven wonen. I have to say that it is a wonderful city. I love The Hague. Um, so, ik ben, uh, ik ben een expat uh, en ik woon in Den Haag voor 11 en half jaar. So, in september ik wil ik beginnen met de inburgeringscursus voor goede praten Nederlands. And, and, uh, <laughs> Elderly Care Center Uitzicht made its halls and facilities available for the World Fair. It was a wonderful opportunity for the city residents to show off their different cultural backgrounds. We're making a fantasy animal, so what we do now is specifically aimed at children, but they also do um, adult courses, because it's also a really good way to meet uh, people. Bonjour, qu'est-ce que tu fais maintenant? C'est un poisson, un animal? Oui, un poisson. Ah, c'est très beau. I think it is very important to integrate with not only the people of the country but with people of the other expats. Um, otherwise, being an expat can be a very lonely um, experience. Um, but I think Dutch people are very uh, receptive to meeting. Visitors were also able to enjoy two fashion shows, which were filled with colorful creations. Hey, so do you live in The Hague? Yeah, yeah. I like the yeah. The, the things I like most here is uh, uh, it's very relaxed. <laughs> you know, it's not like Tokyo, and you have everything like in uh, the biking distance. You can go back to the beach, uh, forest, and city, and so many uh, events happening, like this kind of events, uh, music festival. So I, I'm staying here. Well, it's it's the first time I've been to any of these events, and uh, the entertainment was wonderful. The highlight for me was the African fashion, and that shouldn't surprise you, because where do I come from? <laughs> South Africa. Yes, you can hear that. Why is it important for the people here at the Hague Bridge to see African hair and culture? Because that is where we're from. We want to show our roots, we want to show where we're from, and we want to show the lovely culture as well. It's about expanding your horizon, just to see what other cultures have to offer. Your humor is different and when you blend it all, it's just a big party. In the African show, the younger models had a lot of fun stepping out on the catwalk. Especially in The Hague, it's, um, it's becoming more and more cosmopolitan. We hear English and other languages all around us. And uh, I think if you want to play a role in a city, yes, you've got to be part of the local community. In the middle of August, the Hague Bridge organized a walking tour through Zegbroek. This is the Konrad Canal, and Konrad was a, a Dutch architect who uh, designed this canal and parts of the area as well. And actually it used to be an open sewer. Yeah, it's horrible. My grandma used to live in this street, and, and this is the way the houses were built in between the wars, the First and Second World War. And there are four uh, houses. Six actually, two on the bottom, two first floor and, uh, and two top uh, floors. And it's typically from Den Haag, I guess. This is the uh, Koningsplein, or sommige mensen echt een van de mooiste pleinen van Den Haag genoemd. One of the highlights of the walk was a visit to the recently improved community garden, the Emmahof. This is what it used to be. There used to be four streets. 
with blocks of houses around it and they redesigned it into a city garden and I don't think it needs any explanation if you just look it's because I do not know so much in detail the uh, Sikpok uh, area, I found it very exciting. And uh, what I saw is that uh, people are very close together, uh, and in particular this is uh, Emmerhof uh, area. I didn't know that uh, something like this exists here in the Hague. Eh? Ik ben vandaag op zoek eigenlijk naar de stadsbeleving zelf. Aan de andere kant kijk ik altijd uit naar interessante contacten, dus uh, daar ben ik altijd mee bezig. Nee, super. En het weer was goed, dus uh, kon niet beter volgens mij. A more hidden component of this season's The Hague Bridge project was a visit by students of the Haagse Schoolvereniging to students of the Segbroek College. Together, they took part in creative workshops about fine arts, design and architecture. Um, we are making um, some sculptures to hang on walls to for, uh, walls for maybe important things. And what are you making? It might sound silly, but I am making a pig. A pig? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I hear things today that I, I didn't even know about, uh, about my city. Uh, I heard today that the Papa Verhof, people all over the world come to that to uh, watch the architecture of that. And I, I didn't even know what the Papa Verhof uh, exists or something. Very good to see how all the children are cooperating and trying to talk to each other. So that's very good to see, yeah. We've made a city that, uh, and we've worked in groups and at the end we connected them together to make a whole city. Yes, it was a great opportunity to have these Serbuk Leerlinge pupils uh, working together with the international pupils um, because they, well, it's important that they get to know each other and you can, you can tell even after one hour together that they are together that they are starting speaking to, to one another and t tell about where they live, how they live. We went on this kind of uh, excursion and uh, we looked at like a neighborhood which had lots of houses that had three key elements well width depth and um, length we like to have uh, give them opportunity to to meet other groups community groups other um, areas when they grow up they will understand if you understand you're not afraid and if you're not afraid you can be live you can live peacefully together. It's knowing each other's cultures, that's what makes you do this, right? Because again, if it's why do you behave or react in that way, if you don't understand each other, that's where you miss. So I think the cultural side of things, the social side of things, understanding each other, that's the key.